Imagine Europe, not just as fragments of wilderness, but a place where nature thrives on a grand scale. This is the vision of rewilding, an ambitious approach to conservation. It's about allowing natural processes to shape our landscapes, bringing back missing species and restoring ecosystems to their former glory. Rewilding isn't about recreating the past, but rather about creating a wilder future. For too long, humans have controlled and manipulated the natural world. This has led to a decline in biodiversity, degraded habitats, and a loss of the vital connections that sustain life. Rewilding offers a way to reverse this trend, to step back and allow nature to heal itself. It's about creating the conditions for wildlife to flourish, for ecosystems to become self-regulating, and for nature to once again weave its magic across the land. Imagine vast forests teeming with life, rivers running wild and free, and skies filled with the soaring silhouettes of raptors. This is the potential of a rewilded Europe, a continent where nature is given the space and freedom to thrive. It's a vision that benefits not just wildlife, but humans too, by creating healthier ecosystems, mitigating climate change, and providing us with spaces to reconnect with the natural world. Rewilding is not without its challenges, but the potential rewards are immense. It's a bold and visionary approach to conservation, one that requires a shift in our thinking and a willingness to embrace a wilder future. It's about recognizing that we are part of nature, not separate from it, and that our own well-being is inextricably linked to the health of our planet. The return of lions and leopards to Europe, once a distant dream, is now a tangible possibility within the realm of rewilding. These apex predators, with their powerful presence and hunting prowess, would reshape the ecological landscape, restoring a balance that has been missing for centuries. They would primarily target large herbivores, animals like red deer, fallow deer and wild boar, which have flourished in their absence, often exceeding the carrying capacity of their habitats. Lions, being social hunters, would employ cooperative strategies to bring down their prey. Imagine a pride of lions stalking a herd of red deer, their movements synchronized, their communication a silent language of glances and subtle cues. They would target the weaker individuals, the young, the old, or the sick, a natural form of population control that helps to maintain healthy prey populations. Leopards, on the other hand, are solitary hunters, masters of stealth and ambush. Picture a leopard, its spotted coat blending seamlessly with the dappled sunlight filtering through the forest canopy as it lies in wait for an unsuspecting roe deer or wild boar. Their hunting style, focused on smaller prey, would complement the lion's impact, further regulating herbivore populations and preventing overgrazing. The return of these big cats would have cascading effects throughout the food web, influencing everything from the abundance and behavior of their prey to the dynamics of other predator populations. It's a delicate balance, a complex web of interactions that rewilding seeks to restore, bringing back the natural rhythms that have been disrupted for far too long. Rewilding Europe with lions and leopards raises questions about their interactions with existing predators like wolves, brown bears and Eurasian lynx. These animals, already present in some parts of Europe, would face new competition and potential conflicts. However, nature is resilient and adaptable, and over time a new balance would emerge. Wolves, being pack hunters, might compete with lions for larger prey, leading to potential conflicts over territory and resources. However, wolves are highly adaptable and could shift their hunting strategies, focusing on smaller prey or scavenging opportunities. Bears, being omnivores, would likely experience less direct competition, relying on their diverse diet of berries, nuts, insects, and occasional carrion. Lynx, specialized hunters of smaller prey like rabbits and hares, would likely experience the least impact from the reintroduction of lions and leopards. Their ecological niche, focused on different prey and habitats, would minimize direct competition. The presence of lions and leopards could even indirectly benefit lynx by controlling populations of larger predators like wolves, reducing competition for shared resources. The reintroduction of these big cats would undoubtedly lead to a period of adjustment for all wildlife, but it's important to remember that nature is a dynamic system,
constantly evolving and adapting. Over time, a new equilibrium would be established, with each predator species finding its place within the intricate web of life. As winter blankets the European landscape, the resilience of rewilded big cats is put to the test. These majestic creatures have adapted remarkably to the cold, their thick fur and strong instincts guiding them through the harshest conditions. Capturing these animals in the snow is truly awe-inspiring. You can see their strength and determination in every step they take. It's a testament to their incredible adaptability and the success of rewilding efforts. Indeed, watching them navigate the winter terrain is a powerful reminder of nature's resilience and the importance of preserving these majestic predators. Rewilding has brought about a new dynamic in European ecosystems, creating both challenges and opportunities for local communities. Living alongside rewilded predators has definitely been a learning curve. There are moments of concern, but also a deep appreciation for the balance they bring to our environment. I've had a few encounters with these animals and while it can be a bit unnerving, it's also quite exciting. It's a reminder that we share this land with some incredible wildlife. The journey to find harmony in a rewilded Europe continues as humans and wildlife learn to coexist and thrive together. This delicate balance is a testament to the power of rewilding and its potential to restore natural order.